Many thanks everyone for staying with us. The petroleum industry bill in Nigeria, uh, mainstay of its economy is uh, oil. And in that, a lot of people will believe that there will be a concrete law guiding that sector up until now, dilly darling every day within the last few years. Senator Taya Lasha Adura is the chairman committee on petroleum at the Nigerian Senate and is here to tell us what we should be happy about. Should we be happy, Senator Alasha Adura? It looks so much that the Senate is glad over the passage of the PIGB. This uh, criticism has come that that is a watered-down version of what it should naturally be. What is it exactly that we should be happy about with the move by the Senate on the PIGB? Uh, once again, thank you, Shen. Uh, whenever things are done in Nigeria, uh, the first people to jump into the fray are people who probably know little or nothing about what is happening. The PIGB has passed today, to me and to many people in and outside Nigeria, is the best thing that has happened to us for a very long time. We have an industry where 70-80% of the revenue of this country uh, used to come from, and we do not have good laws guiding how uh, the petroleum industry will be governed. And that is what we have tried to do. We, in the past, or before the passage of this bill, you will find out that anybody who wants to uh, do business in the oil industry may have three, four, five uh, places, you know, to go for them to be able to even get a license. But this bill has now created one regulatory authority that will be a one-stop shop for anybody who is coming to do business in the oil industry. You go there, if you have anything to do with the upstream, there is a desk there. If it is downstream, there is a desk there. If it is gas, there is a desk there. If it is a combination of everything, three of you, four of you can go together and you will be working in the same uh, office simultaneously. What else, you know, can, can you give to people, you know, who have been going around uh, from uh, Port Harcourt to Lagos, from Lagos to Abuja, and back to Lagos, and so on and so forth. Now, there is going to be one shop uh, office where all these transactions will be carried out. Also in the past, because of the bureaucracy of the same people uh, being the regulatory body and also the one to perform, there was no division of labor. There were no checks and balances. And so when people talk about corruption, anywhere you, there are no checks and balances, of course there will be corruption. That has been uh, truncated uh, now. You can, Senator, you know, the, 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 the regulatory authority has Senator, its own business. If, I'm, if I may quickly butt in here, th there yeah. have been several reports. There was a time the pre present Senate president was the one who raised the motion about the corruption uh, on oil subsidy on the floor of the Senate. There have been several reports about uh, uh, gross corruption within the, uh, the petroleum industry. What have you discovered in your committee uh, which has made you put some of this legislation together that you think are mind-boggling? Well, one of it is the uh, one you have mentioned, the oil subsidy. How, for God's sake, can people just come and take money in a racket that you cannot prove. Anybody who will get money for salary and other uh, expenditure without working for it, government will be the one to pay salaries, government will be the one to run your overheads, and at the same time, you believe that people will be able to do the work as they should do it. No. Now, the petroleum industry, to a very large extent, has been deregulated. You will remember, before the price of petroleum came to 145 naira per dollar uh, per, per, per liter, petroleum uh, products were in short supply intermittently in this country. But immediately the price was brought to a commercial level. The so-called uh, number of 
uh, millions of uh, 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 gallons that we take every day came down 40% in the first month. Because what, we used, what used to happen in the past was that these, petrol, uh, these uh, uh, products were taken from Akwakwa or any other place and smuggled outside this country because the price at which they were being bought there were much higher than what people are paying here. So it paid the, the so-called distributors of petroleum uh, products to just take the thing, smuggle them out of the country, and go and get higher price over there. But as soon as the price was brought to the level of those people who are uh, buying it outside the shores of this country, <laughs> the, the number of gallons that we say we consume crashed by about 40%. Okay. Uh, so Senator, uh, uh, let, let's, look into, sorry, let's look into, sorry, let's look into some other issues uh, that are being raised uh, based on what you have done. Uh, the sense behind uh, passing these laws in piecemeal is so, what some people uh, are, are querying also that does, is it commonsensical for you to, or uh, what is the hurry in uh, breaking down or putting the PIG before us? Why don't you wait for all of these three other parts of the legislation to be ready and passed together? What is the sense behind putting forward the PIG first? For 13 years, PIB had been in the works, and nobody had succeeded in passing the bill. Why should we do the same thing the same way all the time? Something that we had done for 13 years and have failed. Why don't we look for other ways of ensuring that we succeed? That is the logic. We did something the same way for 13 years, and there was no result. We now came up and said, okay, let us break what used to be called PIB into sections. Let us tackle the administration of petroleum industry in this country that will conform with the best international standards, the way others do it, so that at the end of the day, uh, we will be able to attract investors instead of such investors running away from us and going to other countries like Angola and other uh, oil-producing countries to, to invest. And a when major concern, though, uh, Senator, business Senator, uh, sorry uh, if I'm uh, about in again, uh, a major concern, yes. quickly because of our time, a major concern is one of the things that you have listed in this uh, PIGB, that uh, irrespective of where the oil is found, it belongs to the government of Nigeria. Uh, uh, that's a major one because a lot of people who are talking about equity, a lot of people who are talking about restructuring Nigeria will find fault in this, that people, the region, or the people who own the resources should be able to take control of it and get to the center. What belongs to the center? It does look like some people who are pro-restructuring of Nigeria and through federalism, originalism, in that sense, they, f they are faulted this very stand of uh, this legislation? Of course, the, when, you, when you make laws or even statements, there are people who will disagree with your statement, not, on, not only legislation. There, were, there are people who will believe that what we have done is not in their best interest and they will query it. But what we have done is, is to uh, go for the best interest of Nigeria, go for the best interest of everybody. We are having a legislation that is coming that will take care of the host communities. We are having a legislation that is coming that will take care of the fiscals. So all the areas that people are complaining about are coming in uh, legislations that, are, that will come after the PIGB. Nobody is, uh, uh, is forcing anybody to criticize. Of course, we need uh, uh, constructive criticism because of the job we are going to do hereafter. So those people who... Uh, disagree with this, please let them send their areas of complaint to us so that when we are doing the other parts of uh, the PIB, we will be able to take their uh, own opinion and their thinking into consideration before arriving at the final, uh, uh, at the final destination that we have set for ourselves. All right.
Senator Taya Lashadra, it does look so much that there's a lot on your plate and we do hope that in the coming days you will be able to put this together. The hopes and aspiration of many Nigerians is that the PIB will be passed into law. Uh, good work that you are doing and we hope that all these things uh, will come to fusion very quickly. Many thanks for being part of the show. On behalf of the team, I'm Sean Wakimbalo. Bye for now.